Money for schools and education, not for banks and corporations. Money for schools and education, not for banks and corporations. Money for schools and education, not for banks and corporations. What, what do we expect uh, from our society? We all think that there should be free uh, primary school, free high school. Why shouldn't there be free university? Um, is it because university is only something for a few people, for the elite? You know, hey, did you hear there's going to be this protest called Occupy Wall Street tomorrow? Um, people are going to, you know, occupy Wall Street. And we all sort of chuckled and said, isn't that charming? But that's not going to do anything. That's not going to work. Our schools cannot succeed. Our schools cannot succeed. While being run like corporations. While being run like corporations. We intention to organize for a better world because another world is possible you know we are unstoppable and we are if we all come together to do that NYU being at NYU gave us sort of an already existing community of activists that we knew we could mobilize that said our first mobilization was the walkout I never made a Facebook event before in my life <laughs> and uh, with the help of a couple of other people in sociology, we threw together uh, this event. You know, we filled up Washington Square, we had signs, we had chants, and there were just so many people, and then we, you know, marched down to Foley Square, and we took the street on Lafayette, and it was, it was beyond our wildest dreams, and it was, it was just phenomenal, and it caught us by surprise, and from then on, we literally did not look back. I mean, we just started planning activities and... Uh, and it was just so impressive and so huge that we thought, like, we've got to sustain this on campus. Uh, and so we just started meeting regularly. And our name, we were calling ourselves NYU for OWS as, like, a placeholder to come up with it until we came up with a better name. But we just stuck with it. I think that, that building of coalitions um, has been very important. It's, you know, organizing has, is no longer going on in isolation. Um, which I think was uh, you know, going on too often before Occupy Wall Street began. And it gave us all of this vocabulary and narrative to speak about you know, injustices you know, on campus, student debt, uh, you know, union drives. All of these things came together around a cohesive narrative of economic injustice, economic inequality. So I was like, well, why not get involved with you know, my school? And then I got involved with NYU for WS and I really liked the energy and sort of like where people's mindsets were and the goals that the group had and the sort of um, organizational structure of it. Um, and so I just sort of delved into NYU for WS. So in general, I think that what we want as students, particularly those of us that are involved in organizing, is we really want a voice in how our university is run. And we think that all of these components, right, so who's on our board of trustees, where we do business, you know, how our classes are taught, all of those things, you know, not only reflect on us, but affect us and affect the community. So we should be playing a role in how all those decisions are made. I think the idea of free university is something that you know, to a lot of people, just sounds like um, just sounds crazy. It sounds like entitled. We're asking for too much, uh, and I think actually that is kind of crazy. You know, we we live in the richest country in the United States in the richest period of world history. Like there has never been more wealth. That idea that we're like entitled to more than we have, I think, is something we really need to foster. I think a lot of people just don't don't think about the fact that we live in such a wealthy society that we should expect more from it.